Hello, um, my name's Gordon. I'm here to talk to you about a small problem I had um, on Windows, but bear with me. Um, so, I'm a keen music fan. I've got quite a large collection of CDs of various types. You'll recognize some classic uh, prog rock there, also some classical stuff. Uh, this is a um, little folk uh, disc I picked up at this time last year in Riga. Ilgi Isakas Nax Dizmas, I think that says. I haven't even tried with this one, a f Russian folk thing. Uh, and as you can see, oh, sorry, you probably can't read that. Uh, will that help? Uh, <laughs> Yano Akiko no Tokimeki is the disc there. And lastly, a bit closer to home, you spotted that. Um, <laughs> so that's all well and good, but CDs, that's a bit old fashioned, right? I thought I'd scan them all to disc uh, on, my, on my computer. I had a lot of them, so I invested in this um, auto changer device and some software. These both run on Windows, so off I went. So far, so good. It, as you can see, the folder's being created for those artists. And for each disk, I'm um, getting lists of, um, so I'm getting files, a FLAC file for each track, and I created some text files with my own notes. So I'd scanned several hundred CDs. Um, that's obviously several thousand tracks, several thousand files. I wanted to start to manage them. Perl is my weapon of choice. I needed a database. There's an amazing number of tutorials on how to create a CD database. <laughs> um, so what could possibly go wrong? I was scanning all these files in, in the directories with Perl, and I was hitting unexpected files with like eight uh, character names that were obviously auto-generated. Were they system files or temporary files or what? Cut to the chase, it was the Unicode, of course. Um, so here's a very simple, very simple demonstration open a directory, read a directory, get gibberish. Uh, that's what it should look like in Explorer. Um, and anything that's been, that's Unicode has been flattened. Um, so what's the real problem? Uh, I'm no Windows expert, but it looks like you can look at your file names three ways. There's the old 8.3 uh, or the modern Windows Unicode style. And there's some sort of posix -y thing that Perl is using that coats with long, but if it sees Unicode characters, it, it um, bars back to eight character. So what are my options? Um, Python? I think it sort of works. I'm no Python expert. And I, I think this was a simplistic example that I would need to dig into it more, but it sort of works. PowerShell absolutely does work. It's um, Unicode from the start, so it, it, there's, no, there's no issue with that there. Or I could have run up a Linux VM, copied everything over, I don't know. Um, I tried it with Cygwin Perl. I think that works, but I didn't test it very much. None of these felt like it was actually solving the problem I had, which was that regular Perl on Windows didn't do the obvious thing. CPAN surely has the answer. Uh, it does, Win32 Unicode. So uh, this gives you wide versions, as in uh, UTF-16 system calls, uh, with either similar names to the Perl ones, or you've got an OO style interface. It does files, directories, and a whole bunch of other things that I wasn't interested in. And it's pretty good. It, it got me most of the way there. Uh, the documentation, I say, is a bit thin, but the guy who wrote it is Japanese. He's got me out of a hole. I'm going to offer to help him with perhaps improving that side of things. Um, what else it can do is, as well as having a, a separate system call, you can actually tell it to override your default system calls, uh, not the test operators yet. Uh, but that doesn't help you if you've got modules which do their own I.O. Uh, so you've got to hope they've got an API where you can open the file handle, then pass it in uh, as an open file handle or something like that. So anyway, back to my bit of code. That's the same thing. If we stick in the, the native, that means override the open dire and the read dire. And apart from the fact that Windows console doesn't cope with the characters, that works. So informational. Now you know, a bit of an advert for that module. A slight winch that it doesn't just work out of the box, but you'd have to change every module on CPAN to make it work for every module. So uh, if anyone knows any better ideas, do let me know. Thank you.